we are uh, supposed to solve this system of equations. And if you'll notice, I've already written it as a, um, as a matrix because I like matrices. And I think that what I'm going to do is make some zeros, and I'll make this into a zero, and I'll make this into a zero. And the first way that I'll make this a zero is I'll multiply this first row by three and then add it to that second row. So three times that first row plus the second row is going to go into the second row. And in order to make this one a zero, this uh, this four, I'm going to multiply this one by negative one and then add it to that. So, uh, I'm sorry, negative four. Negative four times the first row plus the third row is going to go into the third row. And then I can just do the, my arithmetic. So three times the first row plus the second row is going in the second row. So uh, three times three is nine. Nine plus negative two is uh, seven. I mean, let me write that first row because it's just going to stay as it was. Uh, three times two is six. Six plus seven is 13. Three times one is three plus three is zero. Should have known that was going to happen because I wanted it to. Uh, three times four is 12. 12 plus eight is 20. Great. Now I'll do this one. Negative four times the first row plus the third row. So negative four times three, negative 12 plus five, that's a negative seven. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, plus negative 5 is negative 13, 0. Uh, negative 4 times 4 is negative 16, add that to 8, that's a negative 8. And you'll notice the system starts to look a little bit strange. i got my two zeros here, and now I just need a 0 here or here. And I'm going to add these rows together, but watch what happens. You can probably see it already when I add row 2 and row 3 together. Put that into row 3. So row one stays as it is, row two stays as it is now. And now uh, seven plus negative seven is zero, 13 plus negative 13 is zero, zero plus zero is zero. 20 plus negative eight is 12. And so if you'll notice what I have is something here that basically says zero equals 12, which is nonsense. So that means there's no solution to this. I can write the empty set or I can write no solution. Both are valid ways to describe this problem.